means new movies are coming to DVD, Blu-ray, and on demand. Can't forget about that. And joining <laughs> us now is our producer and contributor, David Plummer, with Plummer's Picks. Hey, good morning, everyone. So first up is a movie that had a lot of nominations at the Oscar this past weekend, and we're talking about The Masters. Yeah, The Masters. So Joaquin Phoenix, Philip Seymour Hoffman, uh, Amy Adams, all nominated in the acting categories, all phenomenal in this movie. Now, this movie's a little strange. It's it's essentially about, uh, it's loosely based on Scientology, the creator of science, mm. Scientology and that whole group. So it's, it's a little off. I mean, the movie itself is a little hard to follow sometimes, but absolutely excellent performances from these three. I mean, Joaquin Phoenix is so good in this movie that you don't know if he's giving a great acting job or if he's literally just losing oh, really? his mind. Yeah, you really are a little worried throughout the movie, but <laughs> he's very good in this movie, so uh, worth checking out this weekend. And perfect so. sounds like for the couch, because if you can't understand it, you can always rewind and go back. Exactly. That's absolutely right. Good for On Demand this weekend. All right. right. And next is the final installment of the Twilight Saga, and that comes from the video. That's right. Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2. All the Twihards are very sad that this is over. Uh, now, this is a little heads up. You've got, uh, this movie actually comes out on Saturday morning. A lot of times uh, Friday at midnight at a lot of different stores. So get ready if you've got your twi oh. your favorite Twihards out there. Mm -hmm. Go out. Get this for them. Uh, they're going to love you forever right. and ever and ever. Um, but so, isn't this the one that got all the nominations at the Razzies, which are the... <laughs> yes, it did get the nominations at the Razzies, but you got to, to be fair, I mean, this movie is just a target for critics to absolutely lambaste it. Uh -huh. There is a group of people out there that love this movie. Teenage girls love these movies. Yeah. My wife loves these movies. Yeah. You know, and, and for what they're worth, I, I get it. I get what these are about. I, I'm not going to go watch them several, several times over and over again, but they're worth looking at. They're, they're a good piece, piece of pop culture entertainment. So. All right, sounds good. And then finally, there's a football movie that you think everyone will love, even if they're not in sports. Yeah, absolutely. It's called Undefeated. Now, this is a documentary that won uh, the best documentary last year at the Oscars. It's okay. about a football team in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, these kids are in not that much of a different situation than a lot of kids on the south side of Chicago are. Mm. They're one way to get out of this, mm. to get out of this neighborhood, to get out of the violence, is by succeeding at football. And it's about a football coach who volunteers his time to become the coach of this, this football team that has never won a playoff game. So this whole story takes you from the ups and downs of their entire season, trying to do something that nobody in their school has done before. You see the kids, the drama they have at home, the drama they have in their personal lives. You will cry by the end of this movie. You will love this movie. Whether you like football or not, you're going to like this movie very much. Right, because it sounds like the coach is trying to give them some hope and some inspiration. He is trying to give them some hope, absolutely. And, and you know, as a matter of fact, our friends at uh, Weinstein Home Entertainment wanted to send our entire audience home with a copy of Undefeated. This one might not be on your radar, folks, but you have to check it out. It is it is very moving, very good film. It sounds truly amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> it is. Absolutely. All right. And we have to, before we go, we need to announce the winner of our Outpick the Critic contest that we had over the weekend with Richard Roper. Yeah, that's right. So congratulations to Caitlin Leakty of Aurora, Illinois. She got 20 out of 24 correct. Uh, so that's very good. Uh, Richard Roper and a lot of people had a tough time with this year. He got 16 out of 24. She got 20 out of 24. So she's going home with an Oscar goodie bag worth more than $2,300. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So congratulations, great. Caitlin. Yeah. I know one he probably got wrong was with the best director with Ang Lee. I think everybody did. Yeah. I think a lot yeah. of people got that incorrect. They yeah, didn't see absolutely. that coming. All right, yeah. thanks, David. We're Windy City Live coming up right after this.